Don't forget to comment, to like, to subscribe, and uh, ring the bell if you're on my YouTube channel and share this small video of mine. So thank you. Bye bye. Good morning, everyone. I'm uh, Dr. Dr. Inge from Hair Transplant Center at Clinic Dr. Inge. I've uh, got my uh, patient with me here. Doctor here. How are you, Doctor? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. yeah, so I've got a very interesting case today that I need to share with everyone. So, uh, my patient was a doctor, a very well known figure. So, he actually has done uh, two hair transplants that is FUT, the strict method in Spain, many years ago. So, that was about 10, 10, 10 years, is it? 15, no, 15 years ago. So I did twice the straight method which actually later when I shave you can see that and then the results were good, he liked it and then again he went for another uh, hair transplant and there was a FUE -U -E. Yeah, portal unit extraction that was the latest, the latest technique that we did to do today that that he did once and that was how long was that? was 5 years back 5 years back, yeah The 5 years back one he did with Turkey yeah, so in Turkey. So initially he had good results. But as time goes by, uh, because of the uh, progressive hair loss, he started to lose his hair again. And after three uh, hair transplant, this is how he looked. Look at his density. Is uh, not his fat. He don't. So he, he he has come back to see me, consulted me. What he wants is actually fill up density here. He wants more density. So in fact, he's even done scalp micropigmentation. One of the ways to actually um, give him more density. So after having a long uh, consultation with me a few days ago, we, then I decided that I will go for another FUP for him using the bag as a donor area. Harvesting a uh, number of grams as much as I can. Now, after that, what I plan to do the same day after I harvest the back uh, donor donor area, the scalp as a donor area, I'm going to also do harvesting at the near area as a donor and put the hair at the crown area because he's got very limited donor area after doing hair transplant. Two FUT and one FUE. So the donor area is very limited, so I can't hours many grass up so I'm going to use here as a donor area here but again when he was doing the third hair transplant in Turkey they also extracted his beard as a donor area so again I've got a little bit um, limitation in the number of grass that I'm going to do in the donor hair as the, uh, as the transplanted this area uh, from yeah, from the beard. So the beard. So, but anyway, I'm going to do my best for you. Don't worry. So I will uh, shave. Good hands, yeah, you in good hands. Yeah. yeah. So it's a very challenging day for me today. Honestly, I I actually uh, took three days. Uh, when I after you you I, I consulted you consult you consulted me. I went back. I was actually sitting down and thinking how I'm going to reconstruct you, how I'm going to harvest this. I did some planning in my mind, how I'm going to tackle your case today. So I'm all prepared for your case today. And I am excited too because I've been waiting to see how much grass I can harvest from your scalp and how much hair I can harvest from your beard area. Okay, so the hair that I harvest from the back of your scalp, I'm going to put it in the front here so that you look more natural and the hair that I harvest from the beard area I'm going to fill up density at the crown area alright okay.